too wise. Oh, I go go get a blowout today. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Oh, thank our Lord and Savior Christina Aguilera. She, she I see the smile. You suffer so long, you make mommy so nervous when you sleep too well. You make me so nervous when you sleep too well. Does anyone else get that way? I'm like, why are you sleeping so long? <gasps> you want to say hi to your baby? Oh, wow. Is your baby going to get up? <gasps> Is that your baby? Yeah. Kiss. Oh, thank you. Right on the nose. Daddy. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are still sleeping. They said... She's got the right idea to stay asleep. By the way, these Halo Velcro swaddles, we got the fleece ones because it's a little cold here. It was snowing this morning. So, Mommy did her morning meditation during uh, our first morning feed. So, that's something I've been doing is just doing my morning practice during kind of her first feed, which is around like 5.30, uh, what I guess we like consider her first feed. Are you hungry? You got a dirty diaper? You got a pooty in there? Okay. Uh, but yeah, just doing my morning practice, doing one of uh, the Inner Goddess Collective guided meditations or even in the morning if I get my shower in the morning, if I get my shower, if I like, you know, just choose to do it then. Um, I have a chakra cleansing energy meditation, a guided one for the shower that's only about like eight minutes. So it's kind of perfect timing. So not even, you know, waiting to create these moments in life of like, oh, I have no time for me. I incorporate me into these moments with her that kind of get to be more, oh, she's smiling. They get to be more special, right? Of like either like when I'm trying to breastfeed or when I'm pumping um, or feeding her the bottle. It's really nice just to have that time of like intention and focusing on creating that really just blissful energy to then put into her, to channel into her milk and her energy and her supply and all the things. And you are such a sleepy goyo. Um, so yeah, I've just been doing that and for journaling it's been a little bit like obviously less time to like sit down and write and do these things. So what I've been doing for my journaling practice and my gratitude practice is I'll just take like five minutes, seven minutes and I'll literally do an audio note in my phone just talking about what I'm grateful for and using some of the Inner Goddess Collective uh, journal prompts and you know what I'm calling into the day and what I'm grateful for and you know just focusing on things that feel good. It's super easy as a new mom to just feel really overwhelmed when the baby's crying and you have desires and needs and you feel like your things aren't being met and you feel like you're not meeting hers um, or theirs that it's super easy to feel overwhelmed so oh is Haley laying next to you she said let me lay right here and check on my baby let me lay right here and check on my baby is she your nanny yeah let's change that diaper and I want to point out I realized that I haven't had Lila crying on camera yet Please know that this baby cries. Every time I change her diaper, she cries. Um, I know some people like literally don't show baby. You never hear the baby crying and you're like, oh my God, do they have like the calmest baby ever? You're like, what's wrong with my baby? Is my baby broken? No. Yeah. Let it out. Open that throat chakra. You got a dirty diaper. You got a dirty diaper. Okay. Let it out, girl. Open that throat chakra. Um, we are going to change her and feed her. I just pumped three ounces for her, so we're going to go do that. Hello, my sweet, sweet friends. I am hopping on. I was just editing the video that you are watching right now, and I just feel like it is all over the place, but that's kind of how life has felt right now. Um, and I just wanted to pop on and say thank you for your patience of, I know it's felt like a lot of pregnancy content and mommy content now, 
and my whole intention with YouTube has always been to just be honest and be open and vulnerable and just share and document what I have kind of been doing or going through. So whether that um, was, you know, project vacation body or when I was doing my fitness vlogs or when I was in beauty school, all my moves with your view and all of these chapters of my life are documented. And now it is this new chapter of motherhood and, you know, whether you are a mom or you're pregnant or you're not, um, you're going to resonate with this feeling of just like trying to do it all and then low key, high key feeling just overwhelmed by the goodness like there's just instead of looking at as overwhelm of like how am I going to do everything how's everything going to get done I'm really leaning into this feeling of just like it's a lot of overflow an overflow of love for this new baby an overflow of love from you guys that you know I normally am someone who I can get back to and I want to get back to and I'm good at getting back to uh my messages my comments and interacting with you guys guys and instead of feeling like I can't get to all of it I'm remembering just that like there's such an overflow of just goodness in life right now and I am trying to make my focus just to be present and be grateful for all of it and it's these moments in our life that you know of course like being a new mom there's moments that feel super overwhelming and you're tired and the baby's crying and you just want to rip your partner's head off and I just want to remind all of us that when whether the thing is you're pregnant and you're trying to enjoy it or you're in a new relationship and you're trying to integrate that with your life before this person or you just moved or you're at a new job or whatever the life changes may be we get to enjoy all of it without feeling too much into this overwhelm and just viewing it as overflow. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I put together the pieces as much as I could and I am setting the intention now moving forward that with the vlogs to really have a focus on the video because I don't want you guys just to have these like weird piece together videos but that's kind of how the first few weeks of newborn life is feeling of just like trying to document as much as I can but then also trying to be very present and it's like I can't even believe that almost three weeks has gone by so I just want to say I love you and thank you for all of your support and patience and um all your sweet messages on Instagram and I love connecting with you guys over there so I'm doing my best to show up for everyone, including myself, including my partner, and of course, Baby Lace, and of course, you guys. So I hope you enjoy this little peek into some of our moments the past like week, week and a half. Um, and make sure to let me know down below what other videos you guys want to see. I need to go continue pumping, and I assume Sweet Baby will be up very soon but this is where we're at we are soaking in the new weeks of this newborn chapter um i am still technically on maternity leave and soaking that up and just really trying to be present um we had a much better doctor's appointment that we will get into and you know just still taking the feeding day by day taking this whole life day, day by day and that goes for everyone it's not you know waiting for these perfect moments it's about creating the perfect moments and knowing that you know in a world that kind of teaches us to always be searching outside of ourselves, that we get to create everything within and we get to just take a breath and look at this life that we've created and even if it doesn't feel like this weird surface level you know society's idea of perfect it can be our own version of perfect it can be our own version of perfect. So I love you guys so much and I will talk to you so soon. I hope you enjoy this video. I love you. Mom's first time out solo, stopped and got some Chipotle because I have to be pumping soon and I have not eaten yet today. And I noticed the other day, um, When I did not eat enough, that definitely affected my milk. So, mm -mm. Um, also, I wanna say thank you for all the love and kind comments and 
suggestions on my last video talking about what happened at the doctor and I feel like I was not clear at all so I am so sorry the issue is not my milk the issue is not her latching just for some reason not gaining weight that is the issue that she takes my milk in a bottle like a champ so we're just focusing on that right now and just taking it day by day he really likes the bottles so we're doing that I did order some formula just in case we do go on Monday and she still has not like gained because even in my opinion like as her mom like if she hasn't gained on Monday and we've been like really going at him with the feedings um even just a tiny bit then I do want to really up her calories I guess we could say which is easy to do with formula um, having like anxiety about leaving her in the house my grandparents were like you have to get out of the house so this is what they did they kicked me out for a little bit took two or three bottles from me and said go do something so I'm gonna go to Old Navy and get her some more little things that hat that got a hold in it very upset about it want to find the hat again um I don't know what we're doing getting our pump set up getting my legendary milk pump princess supplement to help with the milk to help with the flow oh, okay let's take this Baby is down for her nap. And we are going to pump our life away. <sighs> Big fan of the Medela hand pump. And big fan of LV Curve. I really do hate the Hakka. Tried to give it another chance this morning and I had it on and I probably had like two or three ounces of letdown and I was like going into the bathroom to like pour it into a bottle and as I was walking out of the room just like the depth perception of the Hakka ran to the wall, knocked off, went all over the floor. Okay. Go pump these bad boys. Put in work, team. Gotta get one of those baby. He's gonna wait till she wakes up. Yeah, but I just want to see if it would work. Oh, how cute. What did you do to your finger? I was opening that bottle of milk that you sent yesterday, and somehow I tapped my finger. On a bottle of milk? On the edge of it. She needs the milk. Okay, we have baby lotion, pipette. Fragrance free, moisture locking, non toxic, clean, whatever that means, and the Cetaphil Baby Wash. Phenomenal. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't feel too hot to me. It feels just right. Right? And then we can, you wring this out. We'll probably just wash it every time. That way it doesn't get moldy. Right? Whatever you want. Scaly to do. skin? Wow. Look at this baby. He said no scaly skin for me, bitches. Okay. Give her a little massage after. Wow. Got her towel. We'll probably put that in the dryer so it's warm. Right? This is nice. I like this. This is comfy. Yeah, I got you the. Let's see, what's this? This is the lotus. So I got you the poppy because mm -hmm. it's a little bit smaller for your sink. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Baby's gonna get her first bath. And I have poop on my robe. Phenomenal. That's okay. Oh, and I also saved some breast milk for the bath. Supposedly it helps their skin. Dry skin. Oh, 
You are just a little breath. You found your camera. I found my camera. Where did you find Thank it? Thank God. On my windowsill. Oh my God. Duh. Where else would it be? Um, yes, I am a plethora of baby knowledge. Spend all my time researching baby things now. It's what I do. And I think my favorite tip that I've learned so far is the bottle before bed. You know what I mean? Like making sure they eat enough. They have bottles at night. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. That is smart. We'll see what the doctor says today about if we... You know what? What? So, sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. Mother's intuition? Yes. It just Doctors are well-intentioned, but mm -hmm. oftentimes they don't have infants. Oh yeah, you think and so? And why would you spend, take two hours, piss your kid off, have them screaming and crying because mm -hmm. at night. One would say so they aren't hungry and so they gain weight. That would be the logical answer. When Do you, you not breastfeed? Why are you giving advice? When, when you could pop, pop a bottle, uh -huh. burp them, mm -hmm. pop a bottle, burp them, and 25, 30 minutes later everybody's back asleep. I mean, really. Next time I want advice, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Should we... Oh, I brought a washcloth. Okay, this is one of her towel towels. But look, it has a little hood. It's very, Yeah, all the baby ones have hoods. Yeah. So their little heads don't get but cold. But then we'll probably just wrap her mm -hmm. and let you her air pack, dry. You can pack, practice my... Swaddling. No, I'm good. I don't need that in my arsonary. I'm good. It's like, oh my god. It really is a microfiber towel. Yeah, it is. It's soft. I wouldn't put it in the dryer. It'd be cold by the time you get it up here. Well, no, not yet. I have to see what time. What's your opinion, Haley? Did you get your well, medicine today? As the doula and the nanny in the household. You're such a good helper. Brody was licking. Did you see Brody licking her yesterday? Hi. Um, hiding. My new diaper bag came in the mail. So we are going to switch everything over from my mini fawn to my big fawn. And I did get the like ultimate mother bundle with the stroller hooks. How cute is this bottle holder? I die. Do her bottles fit in it? Let's see. Wheel, wheel. Wow. Just wow. Ordered some postpartum things from Abercrombie and oh, your Fitch. Abercrombie, your Abercrombie stuff? Yeah. yeah. That was fast. Yeah, I feel like that was fast, right? It's like, it's like the Bible of diaper changing bags. <laughs> See, Grandpa says it's overkill. He'll be wanting to use it very shortly. Yeah, where's that? Uh, where's that nice diaper changing? I got this bodysuit. Easy to whip a boob out. Yes, ma'am. What size did I get? A large. You guys, I definitely sized up too much. I'm wearing already my old jeans now, so. Nothing. This is normal. Ow. Yeah, that's what we Oh, sorry, honey. I got this top. What size did I get? This? Large. Ah. I might have to. Swap some things. So I got that top, and then I bought these pants. Look at that precious job! So cute and flared at the bottom. Cute, cute, cute. Got a sweater. Oh, Honey, will you change her diaper? So cute. Simple, soft. I love that. Let's 
Oh, pants! Yes, I got this set. Oh. Allegedly. Oh, honey, let me see. Oh, those are cute. I know. I, you know what? I think I should have gotten smaller sizes, though, because I Shrink definitely... Shrink them! Well, no, I think... I thought I was bigger than I am. Because well, I'm already back in my other clothes. Can you return them and get smaller clothes? Exchange them? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. I don't know if there's an Abercrombie at our mall. I don't know. In Reno. Maybe in Reno. I love you, Grandma. Hop, bounce, and hug in the burrow. See the bunnies? Say peekaboo. <gasps> Who's that? It's the birds. Peekaboo with the birds. Then we turn the page, and who is peekaboo in? <gasps> the birds. Say, I love my family. Snuggle, cuddle, and sleep in our homes. So we have the cats. We have the bunnies, the dogs, the bears, and then it's the birds who said peekaboo. Say good night, everyone.